How to Kill Bed Bugs with Steam Are you suffering from a bed bugs problem, and looking for an easy solution? After searching for a long time, you are not getting any easy solution. Don't worry. We're here, to give you our best advice on, how to kill bed bugs with steam. This video will tell you, how to using the steamer, increasing the steamer's effectiveness, and precautions to steam safely. So, keep watching, get your solution, and enjoy. Bed bugs may be resilient, but they cannot withstand the high heat of a steamer. Steamers are an excellent, chemical-free way to treat for bed bugs and other pests, such as dust mites. Steamers will kill bed bugs and their eggs on contact, and thoroughly clean the infested area. When treating an area, there are a few guidelines to follow to ensure that all bed bugs are eradicated in a safe manner. Part 1. Using the Steamer 1. Look for a steam cleaner capacity. Look for a steam cleaner with at least a 1 US gal, 3.8 liters, tank. You can purchase a steamer, but they are often in the range of $800 or more. Rent a steamer from a local hardware store or try to find a used one instead. Avoid clothing and carpet steaming devices. These do not reach the temperatures needed to kill bed bugs. 2. Attach the triangular nozzle to the hose. Most steam cleaners come with a wide, angular nozzle for steaming upholstery and other surfaces. Place this nozzle on the end of the steamer hose before you turn it on. Do not use a carpet attachment because the bristles may interfere with the nozzle getting close to the item. Do not use a pinpoint or other type of narrow nozzle as this may blow the bed bugs and their eggs around the room. 3. Steam upholstered items and in cracks and crevices. Fill the tank with plain tap water and then switch on your steamer. Start steaming all of the upholstered and hard surfaces in the room moving from the highest point to the lowest point. This will help to ensure that any bed bugs will be pushed down rather than up and around the room. Bed bugs may hide in soft surfaced items as well as in cracks and crevices. Some items you may need to steam include Mattresses Box springs Furniture Baseboards Dacking strips on carpet Warning, watch out for wires and outlets while you're steaming. Unplug any electronics in the areas you need to steam before you get started. 4. Move the wand slowly over the surface. Move the wand slowly over the surface of items to get good coverage. Aim for a speed of about 12 in, 30 centimeters, every 30 seconds. This will help to ensure that each section of the item gets exposed to enough steam to kill the bed bugs and their eggs. Keep in mind that steaming can be a slow, tedious process, especially if you have a large area to cover. Take breaks as needed or have someone help you to prevent yourself from rushing through the job. If you come across a live bed bug while cleaning, hold the steamer over it for 30 seconds. This should be enough heat to kill it. Once the bug is dead, use a paper towel to pick it up and throw it away. 5. Open windows and run a fan in the room when you are done. After you have finished steaming everything, open all of the windows in the room to help the air circulate. Switch on a ceiling fan if available, or turn on a floor fan. This will help to dry off the items and prevent mold and mildew from forming. Make sure to aim the fan towards the items you steamed, such as towards the ground if you steamed a section of carpet, or upwards if you steamed a chair, mattress, or box springs. 6. Repeat the process. Repeat the process two to three times to ensure that all the bed bugs are dead. It often takes two or three times for steaming to kill all of the bed bugs since they may move to escape the steam, or you might miss an area. Plan to repeat the steam treatment a few hours later or the following day. Don't wait more than a few days to repeat the treatment because bed bugs multiply quickly. Part 2. Increasing the steamer's effectiveness. 1. Check for a surface temperature. Heck for a surface temperature between 160 to 180 degrees Fahrenheit, 71 to 82 degrees Celsius. This is the ideal temperature for killing bed bugs without damaging the items you are steaming. You can use an infrared thermometer to check the surface temperature of the items you steam. Hold the infrared thermometer about 0.5 in, 1.3 centimeters, from the surface of an area right after you finish steaming it. If the temperature is below 160 degrees Fahrenheit, 71 degrees Celsius, then you may need to adjust your steamer or use a different steamer. 2. Ensure that the surface feels damp but not wet. The surface of the item should not feel wet to the touch after you run the steamer over them. 
check for a damp surface, and adjust the settings on your steamer if the item feels wet. If an item gets too wet, press it with a dry towel to blot up the moisture. Tip: You may find it easier to wash and dry certain items, such as curtains, linens, and small area rugs. Pick up any items such as these and place them into plastic bags. Seal the bags tightly to avoid infesting other areas of your home when you move them. 3. Hire a professional. Hire a professional to apply an insecticide for extra coverage. Although steam can kill bed bugs, you may not be able to penetrate deep enough to kill all of the bed bugs and their eggs. Using an insecticide along with steam cleaning will help to ensure that the bed bugs are under control. Since applying insecticides can be dangerous, it is recommended to hire a professional exterminator to do this for you. They have the knowledge to choose the best chemicals for your situation and apply them safely. Search theguardianschoice.com. We are always ready to help you with the right information. Precautions to steam safely While steam is an effective method of controlling bed bugs, it can also be dangerous if the proper precautions are not taken. Here are some safety tips to ensure that you can steam the bed bugs without steaming yourself. 1. Use a respirator while using steam. I know steam doesn't feel like a dangerous thing, but the heat of the steam can vaporize existing chemicals already on the surface of your items. Be aware that a respirator is not a dust mask. It is labeled for vapors. 2. Always read and make sure you understand the instruction manual provided with the steamer before use. 3. Always follow the directions provided by the manufacturer to ensure proper function and safety. 4. The steam is under pressure. Due to this, you must exercise extreme caution when you are refilling the steamer and using the wad. 5. The steam produced by the machine will be extremely hot, at temperatures ranging from 212 degrees all the way up to 230 degrees Fahrenheit. 6. Keep children away. Never let children use or come into contact with the steamer always direct the steam away from yourself. 7. When using steam, it is important to always test the steamer on an unseen area as some fabrics can be damaged by steam. When it comes to microfiber fabrics make sure you steam in the direction of the microfiber. 8. At times, a steamer will expel hot water when you start it up, or when it has not applied steam for a while. To ensure safety, be sure that you point the wand at a towel when you first start to steam to catch this expulsion of water. 9. Never use a pinpoint type steam nozzle. Ever. When using a nozzle, make sure to choose one that is a floor or upholstery attachment. They distribute steam at lower pressures and won't damage fabrics or other materials. Aside from that, you might just blow bed bugs away with a pinpoint nozzle and not in a good way. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update from the Guardian's Choice Official.